Ladies and gentlemen, let's go back to a sport that I know a lot more about and know exactly how to tackle that. So let's talk about Hawthorne, or oh, Frio Hawthorne, sorry. The prelim final tonight. I uh, was going to make the video yesterday, but wanted to wait for the teams to come out. So that's why I'm doing it today. Uh, big news was no Ryan Crowley. That was the speculation all week. Uh, whether Ryan Crowley would play and tag Sam Mitchell. Will it have an impact on the game? I don't think so. Uh, when Ryan Crowley plays for the Fremantle Dockers, uh, they're not as attacking, and I think that they're going to need to be as attacking as possible in this situation. It allows uh, an extra attacking midfielder to go into that centre square bounce, um, and in this case it's Lockie Neal, who's had an exceptional year. Didn't make the All-Australian team, but he still had a superb year, Lockie Neal. Uh, Hawthorne coming off a huge win against the Crows, and they're, they're in some fine form and have, you know, pretty much stopped any of the real doubters saying, you know, Hawthorne's gone. Um, and the, the big key factor from that one was Luke Hodge. The way he started that game against uh, Adelaide was as much as you could ask from a captain. He took the game by the shoulders and he just carried the team. It was it was really good to watch. I was really surprised. Um, I don't. I kind of underrate Hodge a little bit. Um, I know a lot of the people in the AFL community think like Hodge is like an awesome captain and whatever, but I never really see it on the field. But watching last week against the Crows, that was when I saw like superb leadership and the opportunity to take everything that he could um, for his team. So a couple of the key matchups. It's going to be one in the midfield. It's not going to be one in the forward line. Both teams have relatively iffy forward lines at the moment. I think Hawthorne's probably got the stronger one uh, with Roughhead, Bruce, and uh, Puopolo and Rioli. So those will be the four dangerous guys in the forward line uh, for the Hawks, which probably you would say that they're more dangerous than Ballantyne, Main, Pavlich, and Michael Walters. Uh, just purely because, I don't know, it's, they're sort of similar type matchups. You've got the two smallish forwards in, you know, Piopolo and Rioli against Ballantyne and Walters. And then you've got the big key forward, which would be Roughhead versus uh, Havlich. And then you've got Main and Bruce as sort of your mid-sized forward. So it's, it's a very even balance there for, for both sides. And uh, I think three have got Jonathan Griffin as well, and Matty Tabena on the bench. So they're a couple of other taller options that they can put forward. Uh, you look at the back lines, you know, pretty similar as well. You know, Spurred, a smaller player. Um, off Johnson, Zach Dawson, Ibbotson. Uh, and then you've got, obviously, Gibson will be that runoff player like Ibbotson is. Uh, but I, I think they're trying to make all the Hawthorne defenders as accountable as possible in one-on-one -on -one situations, which I think is why uh, Tabena and Griffin have come into the side. Uh, no Crowley listed in the emergencies either, so I highly doubt that he's going to play uh, at all. Uh, you know, Hawthorne also do have a couple of options that can go forward, taller options like Schoenmakers and Hale on the bench, uh, and even McAvoy when he can rest forward. So it's going to be a real interesting contest. It's going to be one in the middle between Fife and uh, Mundy and Lockie Neal versus Mitchell, uh, Luke Hodge and Jordan Lewis. They, they will be the backbone of this contest tonight and I think it's going to be a really really exciting game uh, I think both teams have 11 or so players that run throughout that you know center square bounce but those three guys are going to be the keys to each team winning so the question is who wins this game uh, last time they played at Domain Stadium Fremantle won by 19 points it was last year in round 21 uh, but when the Hawks played them this year down in Tasmania, the Hawks won by like 72 points or something ridiculous. So you got to just scrap that game. Hawthorne's been to Perth like every second or third week over the last, uh, I don't know, I think it's six, six or seven weeks. They've been there almost every second week. And maybe the travel will take its toll, but I highly doubt it. Uh, I'm picking... Oh, this is such a hard one to pick. I want a really good contest here. 
I'm going for Frio to finally break the Hawks. It'll be an extremely close game. Under a kick will decide it. Frio for me. Um, although, you know, it's obviously going to go either way. But I'm I'm backing in the Dockers because I want a Derby Grand Final. Um, so I'll be going for Frio as I did two years ago when they played Hawthorne that Grand Final. Hopefully it's a really, really good game though. I want a really, really exciting contest. Like, super exciting contest. Like, look at the one you're watching right now. How exciting is this game? <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Leave a big thumbs up. Let me know who's going to win in the comments below and give me a margin. And, oh, gee, it's going to be a great game. I hope it's an awesomely epic game. Anyway, <laughs> I'll see you guys later.